So, hello guys, uh, just back with another vlog, my Sunday vlog, I should, fingers crossed, be able to upload a first person DayZ vlog, because I am going up to the hills above Blood for Airfield, and I will be vlogging, hopefully no bandits will come my way, and no zombies, we'll see, anyway, so today's vlog is about hacking and about smurfing. Um, hacking, I think everybody who's played any form of video games knows what that is. Effectively it's giving yourself an advantage over somebody else. Either that's god moding, making yourself unkillable, giving yourself a magazine that'll never round a round. That's just to name a few. And smurfing is a less familiar, I tell you, I'm personally less familiar with, I only just heard it recently, and that's coming out of the CSGO community. Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, a smurfer isn't a blue person with a uh, white pointy hat. Nope. Um, it's somebody who is, for example, uh, Global Elite in Counter-Strike, which is the highest rank you can achieve, and has made another account, but at a much lower level, because it starts at the bottom and uh, is playing on that account. Now, is hacking right? Of course it's not. There's a reason you... If you, if I was playing Daisy and I went and hacked myself in uh, DMR, Unlimited Ammunition, God Mode, and all that good stuff, that would be absolutely brilliant for me, because I'd be unkillable. But, you're the guy who's just spawned in on the shore, wants to come and kill me, or wants to, sorry, wants to get better, he may be the best player in the world, but I'm god mode, so he can't beat me. Now, so personally I'm going to say, yeah, hacking is, in my opinion, always has been wrong. I'm not naive enough to think that some of you guys out there don't do it, I know people do it, I know there various accusations flying around the YouTube community, people doing it, I'm not getting involved in that. But what I will say is obviously I think hacking is wrong. Full stop. I don't hack, I don't see the need to, I don't even know how to. Um, smurfing on the other hand. Now smurfing for me personally, I think it's okay because I mean yeah, how else if I'm global leader am I gonna play with my friend who started playing Counter Strike two weeks ago? I'm not. And I think, again, video gaming, as I said, isn't necessarily about being competitive and being the best at everything. It's about having a good time. I mean, I, I, do, I play FSX, yes, I play FSX, I don't fly on FSX, I play FSX. FSX is a game published by Microsoft Games, sold in the game section of shops. Key word there, game. Anyway. And I'm not, I, you know, I don't protest to be the best in the world, I'm really not, but I do it because I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy taking a 737 and pretending to be a real pilot. I really do, and that's, I think, you know, hundreds upon thousands of people worldwide are exactly the same. But now imagine playing F, having to play FSX, where you first start off flying single engine Cessna, or the track, the air, air creation track. And then you have to rank up to flying the NGX, as you would in the real world. But that takes you maybe two or three years. Now, I want to fly with my friend, who's just started playing FSX last week, doesn't really know what he's doing. So I just say, right, I can, I can come and play with you, but I can't unless I'm making your account. Again, I personally think smurfing, as long as you don't go all out. So if I'm, play, if I'm playing CSGO and I'm global elite, and I'm playing in a very basic game, I will I wouldn't go all out. Just by the way, I'm not global elite, I'm not like that. Um but yeah I wouldn't you know I wouldn't personally go all out, uh your know, balls to the walls and kick backsides in. Because that's not what that's not what that's not what it's about. And that's I think one of the key skills of being a human is knowing when to push and push and push and push. And when to go, you know what? I'm not going to push too hard now, I'm just going to let everybody else kind of almost carry me in a way, but in a way that I'm still going to have a good time. 
Uh, yeah, so that's my opinion on smurfing. Smurfing, in my opinion, is okay. As long as you do not take it too far. I just made a time there, and I don't know what that was, but it went through my headset, so it gave me a heck of a heart attack. It's currently 1 a.m. That's why I'm a bit, uh, anyway. But, that's smurfing and hacking, in my opinion. Now, um, <coughs> some news. Uh, as some of you now know, uh, Airline to Sim uh, are doing the CRJ training for uh, the Aerosoft CRJ. Now, I don't know what my address is doing, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, that should, um, I was speaking to Ben about this evening, they are literally doing the first, their plan is just literally two hours ago, seeing the simulate model for the first time, uh, I didn't actually ask what his opinions on it were, but uh, the, uh, there was a stream which was very private one, just for a few people, I, I was look, lucky enough to see it, because it looks absolutely amazing, it's not finished yet, you can tell that. But it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, uh, this is the uh, the the uh, X uh, modelling on the Airbus X Extended. I'm sorry, the uh, A320 uh, family. I'm going to call it that now. I'm going to go A318, A319, A320, A321. Because I can't get my uh, lips around that quickly enough. Um, anyway, it's or it's as good as that. 4K textures. Obviously, Ben runs uh, Titan graphics card, which is 16 times more powerful than mine. So you ain't going to get 4K textures when you're flying here with me. But it's, I was talking to him, he flew, he's, he's obviously got the aircraft for, um, for the purpose of creating the train. And apparently the dash shape compared to the CRJ is easy. I'm actually really worried because the, um, obviously the dash 8, those of you who do fly it will know that. When you're in the cruise, it's pretty okay because you just hit MCR, which then puts in that cruise detail, and then the aircraft kind of works to hold the same speed. I'm not quite sure how it does it, it just does it. Um, CRJ doesn't have that, it doesn't have an auto throttle either. And now, whereas at low altitude, you've got buckets of power in the uh, dash, and then it kind of peters out when you get above about 15, 20,000 feet, well, up to about between 15 and 20,000, it starts petering out. It doesn't in the CRJ. <laughs> So apparently it's very, very difficult to manage power. Bring it on. Uh, <laughs> I'm, quite, I'm quite looking forward to seeing the CRJ come out, I've got to say. It's, as I've made this video yesterday, it's one of my top ten, well, it's one of my top upcoming releases. It's one of the three items I want this year. Uh, obviously that I've been talking about. <clears throat> Sorry. Just kind of, I ate some cake before, and I've got this really strong test of cake in my mouth right now. Really nice cake to this last piece. Um, yeah, but so that's I'm really looking forward to seeing the work from those guys come out because obviously you, uh, those of you again who bought the Dash Eight training one know how high quality that was, and all I think all of us after a while spotting the aircraft, flying the aircraft, sorry, spotted so many you know, tiny editing and several mistakes. It was still near enough perfect. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can pull off with the CRJ. Because as I said, the CRJ was, uh, it, it looks impressive. And so far I haven't heard a negative comment about it, which is very, very rare. From what I, I tend to get the negative side of things. That kind of thing, a lot. Um, so yeah, folks, that's, I've wasted another nine minutes of your life. So if you've made it this far, I'd like to thank every single one of you for watching. It does make a difference to me and my channel. If you did like what you saw and you're not bored yet, please do like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever it is you can do. Also, please do check me out on Facebook. That's www.facebook.com slash actual all one word, all lowercase. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.